video newsletter just to bring you up to date with where we are. Um, I am sorry, uh, there aren't as many as usual. Um, things are incredibly hectic at the moment. So we're in our uh, second lockdown and I just want to go through where we are with everything, what we're trying to do before the end of the year. So um, a few things. Thank you for your support around the face mask. We, you know, we're trying to find a, a middle path. We know it's an emotional issue, but uh, we are very pleased by the support we get from that. Thank you. Um, in terms of COVID case, uh, one parent did raise uh, the issue that uh, about getting in touch with the school out of hours over the weekend. So we now have uh, set up a special email address that's monitored uh, homes and weekends, which is covid at longsutton.links.sc.uk. And that just allows, for example, if you've got a positive result for your child or for you on a, a Saturday or Sunday, um, myself or, or another member, another school leader will be monitoring that, be able to then put plans in place. Uh, we have put onto the newsletter to remind you of our closure plans. We also did have, in one case, a teacher who had to self-isolate and using Teams taught from home. Uh, and it worked very successfully. The children were fantastic. Um, and we made it work. Um, so we are finding ways of using uh, video teaching to make things uh, more seamless. A um, couple of other things. So... Uh, thank you for uh, making parents' evening work. Um, one parent did comment it was so nice not having to queue. So they, they had their phone call slot and then spoke to the teacher. And, and it seems to have gone really well. Positive comments from both uh, parents and carers and, and teachers. And uh, so thank you again. PE, we know there's an issue. We know that um, you know we are doing two slots, uh, which is what the government is requiring. Uh, and... We are spending more time outside. Um, children will be going on the grass uh, from time to time. We, we are trying to avoid them coming home uh, covered in mud, but we are also trying to very much hit um, Department for Education guidelines of getting the children moving, particularly after lockdown. But we are, we've now changed our risk assessment so there'll be more sessions indoors as well. We're making that work. A um, couple of things around early years, so uh, if you or you know anybody who's got a child who is starting reception in September 2021, uh, we have had a virtual um, open day, but really keen to support people with that. Um, if you go onto our homepage, there is a virtual visit to the school. We've had a feature film made of the school. Um, the house captains did a bit on that. They all did it one or two takes. My minute took eight minutes to film. Um, and there wouldn't, it wasn't because I kept saying erm this time either. Uh, but if you know anybody, please uh, tell them to get in touch with us. And we will, hopefully when lockdown is over after the 2nd of December, we will then be looking to do visits, but after the end of school. Also, nursery, we're absolutely delighted with the renovated and uh, new approach to uh, using nursery under uh, Mrs Smith and her team. We have got some slots in the afternoons, but also we are beginning to take bookings for next academic year. So if you've got a child who will be three uh, coming up September 21 onwards, please do come and talk to us because we are already getting bookings, which is fantastic and shows what a great do, uh, job they're doing. And then finally, um, marking Christmas is going to be difficult. It's going to be different because, of course, if you think that traditionally we would go down to St Mary's Church twice uh, for the Christingle, which is a wonderful service, uh, and for the carol service, you know, parents who are new to the school, we do fill the church, 700, 750 people, and it's just wonderful. We are trying to see, I'm working with Mrs Gowdy uh, and uh, Year 6 teachers, to see if we can do something for the uh, children, whether it be individual class groups getting down to the church. But we're also trying to make uh, sure that there is some magic around Christmas. So some things that I really want you to be aware of. We have booked uh, an online panto because we can't do um, have a theatre company coming in, but we've booked one of those, the children watch online in their classes. Uh, we will still have the parties, details will come out of those, but within the year group bubbles. We'll provide refreshments so we don't have to have uh, things coming in and we will also um, be holding a nativity for reception parents 
Not, qu not quite sure how we're going to share it with you yet, but we have plans on filming and then editing and then sharing that with you. Christmas cards. We will be doing Christmas cards, but they will be just within the year group bubbles and we need them. This is really important. By the 4th of December, we can then quarantine them for a week and then hand them out. Uh, and it just means that we can do things within our risk assessment and safely. And then a final, lots of thank yous in this one. Um, thank you for your huge support for the Harvest Festival, for the Long Sutton Larder. Um, everything that was donated has gone to support families uh, in our village, and that's hugely important to us. Um, the Larder is there to support all families in the village, and we would encourage you, it's food and basic supplies. If you need a little help at this time, particularly coming up to Christmas, do contact them. The number is on the uh, newsletter. It's 079-321-96276. But do contact them. Um, we know what a difference having that food larder made in the summer. Um, so we, again, will be supporting it in different ways through school, but also would stress that it is there for people in the village to use. So I will, I suspect, as we get more information about tiers and which tier we're going to be in, uh, post lockdown put another video in um, but just can't it reiterate enough uh, our thanks as a staff um, for the, your support the way that you're working with us Th this is the most extraordinary time uh, that I've known in the many years that I, I've been working in schools and around schools um, and I know from talking uh, to other heads and from reading uh, forums and different things like that I know um, how well the children are doing. It is tough and we know things, are, you know, there are stresses and anxieties and worries out there. The children are doing re really well. We are working them on that curric recovery curriculum. We are pushing them academically, but we're also really aware how tired they are and they just need that reassurance, the pastoral work that's going in and, and your teachers, your children's teachers doing a grand job on that. So I will sign off here and then I'm sure there will be one around the end, end of the month once we know what the realities of the uh, lockdown closing or finishing on 2nd of December are and we can then share with you what the implications are. Stay safe. Thank you.